it gets annoying when you've heard it every single time you've booted up the game. Exactly. Not to mention, like, you hear one version when you boot up the game, and you hit start, and you hear a different version, and then you go into, like, a menu, and you hear a third version, and you're like, bro, like, there's 50 songs. Why Better you pick, like... pray that you didn't pick random song on FD or Battlefield. Oh, yeah. Find one of the four other exactly. secret versions <laughs> right, <yeah. laughs> hiding away in the game. That's how you know it's good if you have to, like, clear content to relock it. It's not like an unlockable. It's like a relockable. I want to turn that thing off. <laughs> All right, no surprises here on the side of red team. Obviously, we got the Krom from Mr. R and the Wolf from Tweet, but Incineroar is a bit of a surprise. Yeah, the Incin going to be either very solid or just very oppressed, I find, that like tools like his Nair, Back Air, and Fair going to be really good for passing, and he just has pretty general solid doubles tools as a character. But uh, he doesn't have a great frame or great frame data, so that's true. But I feel like, oh my goodness, some of the best punishes could come from Incineroar. However, it looks like Mr. R has some of the best punishes. Oh my god, two quick ones. Yeah, the positioning right now from Tweak and Mr. R of Tweak just taking the frontmost position and covering the ledge. Yep, pretty solid. Oh my god, and the way they're tagging on percent, Mr. R will hit a Nair and Tweak will just sort of sneak in and put some forward air damage on or a neutral air just to add to the combo a little bit. Yeah. They've been taking great use of uh, how Wolf Fair actually hits. Yes. And yeah. just making sure that, all right, if you have time, like, just get down and shield real quick or even duck and I'll come in from over you. That's what exactly. Yeah. And so far it looks just like Red Team's game. They are so good at the follow-ups here. Just still somehow remaining pretty elusive. Like, they haven't really been able to take too much percent. Got on the end of Fig. Oh, yikes. But though. it's going to be good tosses from Tweak and Mr. R right now. Just honestly, they've sandwiched them pretty much the entire game. Yep. And I guess one unfortunate air dodge would be the stock that they take so far. But 5 to 3, and high percent on blue team, probably not looking too good. Oh, all right. A harsh. Absolutely. That was such crazy pressure because that would have caught literally everything. Yep. <laughs> literally everything. There were no options there. Wow. Even getting punished for the Alolan whip as well. Mr. R. Missing yeah. an F smash, but. The situation has occurred twice with the instant now where he's gotten the side B off map and elected to just bounce Tweak off of him, but he's gotten side beat for not recognizing the space twice now. Wow, that's such great coverage for Tweak. He was trying to kill the heck out of that guy. Yeah, he, was. <laughs> he was. like, that was messed up, dude. He tried to put himself in the position to spike him, like, twice. He did it. I mean, it's low risk, high reward. We saw him go for, like, three, where he would just, like, knock Hero off stage and just go for the down air, and then Mr. R was there to, like, cover the air dodge or at least put pressure on his landing. Yeah. Super smart. So I'll probably see more of that. Yeah. I would imagine. <laughs> Blue team just needs to make sure that they find their hits here, honestly. Yes. They weren't getting too much started just because the positioning on the side of Mr. R and Tweak just incredible. Exactly. Like I said, they were there, there to put the pressure on, but they were still making sure they weren't getting hit. Obviously, it sounds like an easy strategy, but you'd be surprised. Yeah. yeah. The fact that they were putting the combos together like on the fly, like it's Mr. R is hitting the nares and Tweak was still tacking on the damage and supporting him while not getting hit by whoever wasn't stuck in the 2v1 combos. It's a lot harder than it sounds. And yeah, Obviously, sure. great stuff to do it throughout the entire match. So we're going to go to game two. Honestly, I'd say positioning is probably the hardest thing in this current Smash game, yeah, yeah. Uh, just because of how much range of access you have in terms of movement right. and what everyone can do, as opposed to a couple of people. Like in Smash 4, we started to see that a little bit, but we still had characters like Ryu at the top who were just at the top because they have these hits and these consistent punishes. All right, so a little bit of a change. The Incineroar is out. The Dark Pit is in. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but I am interested to see how it plays out. Already, uh, so we're going to be finding these up Bs, but he hasn't been able to get too much done with them. Wow, that was so great. We, the presence of mind right when he saw the high up B to get back on stage and punish. Nice up smash as well, but not going to take it. Let's see what we got here. Mr. R on the offensive. Yeah, that was incredible by Tweak. He said, here, take care of this side of the stage, Mr. R, while I scare him away from this one. <laughs> exactly. And then they put themselves in the corner and started getting jabbed by Krom. That was terrifying. Definitely not where you want to be. <laughs> All right, Mr. R, I like that. Usually just used for movement, he goes with the neutral B to sort of take the stock as well as move around and tweak, fall a little short of the ledge. 
blue team fans got a ray of hope. Up smash, not gonna kill. Oh man, even Hero wants to get it on the red team combo. <laughs> 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 so yo, I got it. Let me get the back here. Oh, Mr. R, wild. Nice, just gonna use the first three just to put him in the corner. Honestly, it's not even just positioning at this point. It's like the way they condition with their positioning and how they force the other team to put themselves in the corner. Like, yeah. they've been doing it so consistently. If he wanted to go down, that was, that was probably could have got two one. stocks. Yeah. One extra, at least. Yeah. All right, well, you know, it's looking better for blue team. Yeah, they, they can focus on that. But right now, oh, no, Hero dying at 15, just going a little too low, and now, I don't know, it's uh, not looking good for the dark pit. One stock, a hope, a dream. Put it and, in the corner. Uh, That's, oh, wow, that was almost it. Definitely thought it was. There it is. It's... It doesn't even give you the, the world star anymore. It just he's like, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's, <laughs> the game was just like, yeah, you've seen this uh, before. Yeah, exactly. It's not even going to freeze the screen no, anymore. Like, good, you get bro. it. We got a bracket to run. <laughs> <laughs> Big breach. Yeah.